So I'm going to show you how to set up a spillover solo patch into a spillover rhythm patch. Does that make sense? So what I want to do is, the way I do it anyways with a spillover is the last note of the solo, when I'm in my solo preset, I want that delay to get really, really loud and predominant in the mix so that when I go to my spillover patch, you really still hear that last note of the solo. Uh, if you just do a simple spillover, it's not quite as effective, I find, anyways. I, I want that to be really noticeable, especially in a live situation. The crowd kind of goes, whoa, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm just going to give you a little example of what it sounds like. So I'm in my solo preset with a delay, and I'm, I'm just at the, the basic uh, delay setting, and I'm going to hit an instant access button on my ground controller, um, ground control pro, that uh, sends out a MIDI CC to the axe effects and increases the time, the feedback, and the level, the volume of the delay, all at the same time by hitting one switch at the end of the solo. And then what I do is I hit my next preset and that solo note will carry over, like this. Very cool, n'est-ce pas? So, now I'm going to show you actually how to do that, how to set up your Ground Control Pro and your Axe Effects to how to do that. So, I will stop the recording. The first thing we have to do with the Axe Effects to make sure that the spillover is working is we go to the Global button here. Global. And that brings us to this screen here, the Config screen. And you can see we have, oh, look at that hangnail. Ah! The pain. Um, so we have our spillover setting. I can't hardly see that. There we go. It's the last one. Spillover. And you can set that to, whoops, sorry, to reverb, delay, or the way I have it set as both. So make sure you do that first. And we're going to set up the uh, external controller. So we're going to go into I.O. on the front panel, and that brings up this screen here. And we're going to toggle over using our page button to the control section there. So we go page, and that brings us to control. I don't know if you can see that or not. And we're going to go down to the external 2. And I'm going to set that up so that it's MIDI CC 10. Okay, and that's all we have to do on the axe effects for now. So now comes the ground control setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that number 4 is going to send up a MIDI CC number 10 as an instant access switch to the axe effects, which is already set up as external control number 2. So external control number 2, CC 10, has to be uh, the same on the the Ground Control Pro. So the way we do that is we hit the two setup buttons in the corner simultaneously. I'll do that while holding the camera. Click. And that brings us into setup mode. So we want to go to instant access, which is number six. Press that. And you can see we're in instant access. And we need to tell that instant access button what channel, what MIDI channel, and what CC we want to send. I've already got several set up here to turn things off and on in, in the Axe Effects, but I'm going to show you where uh, number four is by going to the bank button. And there's number four. I've already set it up so that it's channel two. Now if we wanted to change that channel, we would hit the three and four button down here and choose the right channel. We want to choose channel two. And then we want to, by pressing here, number two, we toggle the cursor over to the controller number and we can change that controller number using these buttons here. So we want it on 10. Once we've got it on 10, we hit the edit button and it says exit. We're going to exit, click, and we're exited. Now I'm going to go to the preset. So from now on, Whenever I hit number four, it sends out MIDI CC number 10 on channel two to the Axe Effects. 
So now that we have our Ground Control Pro set up and our Axe Effects set up so that it sees instant access number four from the Ground Control Pro, which is actually MIDI CC number 10, and it resides on external controller two within the Axe Effects. Now we'll take a look at what happens when that uh, spillover is working. So I've brought up one of my solo presets, and you can see delay number one has these little indicators here that there is an, an external controller going on. If we right click that, you can see it's external number two. And our start point is 6.7% on the time. And that gives us 536 milliseconds out of a possible 8,000 milliseconds with this stereo delay. So that's how you figure that out. Um, so it's starting at 6.7 and it finishes at 10.6 which is around 850 milliseconds or so. Um, so we've set that up. Now we do the same thing with the feedback, right click on the feedback uh, which is external to and it starts off with 20.1 percent feedback and then works its way up to 80.3 after we hit that IA switch. So that's the starting point and that's when we hit the switch. And do the same thing with the level, right click and it starts off at 62% and finishes at 85%. And now you want to play with that, see which one, uh, see which levels work best for you and which delays work best for you and so on. So once we've got that done, um, you set that up so that you're happy with both the starting points and the exit point of that delay. We, we can copy that delay by right clicking on it, going edit and copy and then go to your spillover patch and mine's already set up and this is our delay one we would have I would have copied that to here or actually when I did it I did it using the front panel of the axe effects I didn't use the axe edit because this is quite an old preset um, so as you can see this is bypassed but this is delay one it's exactly the same as it as it is in the previous patch at the end point after I hit the IA so we have 851 milliseconds, all these parameters exa exactly the same. This goes up to 80.3, and this here I set it at minus 2.5. I just adjusted it by ear. So that's how you uh, do my version of the spillover, and with that version, you get a nice longer delay leaving your solo. It's louder, it's more predominant in the mix, and it's just hitting that instant access number four just before you hit your next spill rhythm preset using the bigger buttons on the uh, the bigger number buttons on the uh, Ground Control Pro. Hi. So the key to using the spillover uh, function on the Axe Effects is the following: um, you have to have the spillover active in your global uh, parameters on the Axe Effects. You have to make sure it's on that helps and um, when you go from one preset to another preset you have to use the same spillover uh, settings in that exact same delay so if your delay that you're using in your solo patch is delay number one that you want to spill over you have to make that delay number one be delay number one in the spillover patch and it has to be bypassed you can add another delay if you want but you have to have the same delay one and delay one in both presets for it to work. Okay? Understand? Understand? Okay, good. See you. Bye.